autumn is coming. Hey guys, so guys, Thomas Richard here. Today in today's video, I'm going to talk about of uh, the potential of the of the four side projects that Ed literally teasing on his Instagram bio and profile picture being autumn is coming. You know, guys, that on Saturday. And yeah, you know, we get, let's get straight on with the video. Let's go. So yeah, guys, you know, nothing's confirmed, of course, of course, guys, nothing is confirmed, but apparently autumn could be the name of the next side projects album, you know, or it could be like autumn themed. Nothing is confirmed, but autumn is just a placeholder name for the moment, I think. Yeah, because we don't have definite concrete confirmation that it's going to be called autumn, you know, but, in, but I'm just going to theorize and speculate potentially maybe like four side projects within ne within the next year being autumn themed as it is going to be, I think it's going to be like side projects. You know that the mathematical era has sadly ended now, I think, with some tracks coming out this year. Um, yeah, you know, autumn being released within September to December, winter being released between December to March, spring being released in between March to June and then summer between June to August, you know, pretty much. September's still all summer if you think about it, yeah, because this, so, this autumn starts on the 23rd of September, so, so yeah, it's so weird. Um, but yeah, there's like the potential of different side projects that Ed's got planned, you know, like the second Aaron doesn't produce the album, you know, with Magical on it. I do think Magical could be the single from the second Aaron Desmond produced album, which could be on Autumn, or, I don't know, another song maybe. Uh, and then next summer or spring, the J Barvin collab project album. Also, there's a little clip what I'm going to show you guys in a minute. It's from 2021 from The Breakfast Club, and then Ed just explaining, explaining stuff about what the site, what Ed's got planned, pretty much, like... Yeah, play you guys that in that clip now. So I had five mathematics records and five more symbol records, and then in between, I would do. Uh, I'm going to do a, a a folk record with a a, a trad band that I, I really like. I might do an R and B record. I might do a dance record. Mm -hmm. Like, but they won't be part of the the blockbuster. If, if that if that makes sense. So here, guys, literally a folk record, an an R and B record, and a dance record. You know, which I cannot wait for. Yeah, you know, the folk, I do think the folk record could potentially be wintertime. Like the folk record that has been working on with a trad band, I think in Bioga potentially that he worked on Divide a little bit with, with Gawa Girl and Nancy Mulligan. I would really love that folk record. Maybe a couple of songs written by Foy Vance with Foy Vance, you know. That would be amazing. An R&B record could potentially be the spring could potentially be spring potentially i'm not too sure guys i'm not too sure and then of course the dance one could be the collab with j balvin you know like it, that is going to be a dance a reggaeton produced album pretty much it just make you move like like with c gay and then some of the songs that with other collabs with artists as well will just make you dance as well yeah you know which i just cannot wait for um we'll have to wait and see what's coming guys we'll have to see what's coming all um, I think will be the year and Desert produce album. Winter, I think the folk record, um, R and B potentially spring dance summer. Yeah, that, that just cannot wait for whatever whatever Ed's planning to release. Yeah. Also, like Ed said, you know the mathematics and the play, pause, fast forward, rewind, stop albums are all going to be main albums. You know. But I think, you know, in between, that like Ed said, are going to be side projects that I've just kind of explained, you know, which I just cannot wait for. I just love it. And it'll be just EP projects after project after projects, you know, just like with the five EPs, like literally just projects, EP, EP, EP. But now this time it's going to be like project, 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 project the next year, I think. Yeah. You know, the Spanish word for summit is verano. And now imagine... Just a little twist on it, a little twist. Summer, verano, you know. Ed Sheeran and J Barbara and verano, summer. I don't know, guys. But, but yeah, just placeholder names for the moment of the potential season albums, potentially, 
autumn is coming, you know, um, which I just can't wait for, you know, nothing is concrete confirmed of the name of autumn. It's just a placeholder name for the moment. I I'm saying, which I just can't wait for, or it's an autumn themed album, you know, little side projects album, which I just cannot wait for, for everything. Yeah, that's about it, this video. And if you guys enjoy this video of me just going through everything, my theories and speculations of what's to come potentially in the next year. Yeah, we were, I do, I do also, I think the original subtracts, I think that could turn into rewind potentially now because it's literally like songs that Ed had stockpiled up for, for quite a few years. Like the perfect acoustic album potentially could be called Rewind now. Uh, just rewind the clock and maybe potentially near the end of the mathemat mathematics tour, Ed releases Rewind, you know, or maybe the day after the mathemat mathematics tour, Ed releases Rewind. And that's the perfect acoustic album, the original subtracts the, with 10 perfect acoustically made songs that, you know, Ed's had planned, planned out since 2000, 2011, 2012 time. And yeah, you know, yeah. And if you guys enjoyed this video of me going through everything, this video, please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in another video. Peace.